We come before you, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much for this work that's been done. It's an answered prayer for all those who have worked much of their careers to see this day come. In 1999, my oldest son was born. I just dropped him off for college a couple of weeks ago. It takes a long time for these things to happen and you sort of have to stay at it. David and Trout, one of the many who have dedicated their life's work to preserving Chinook salmon and the killer whales who depend on them to survive. This is a really big deal. Nearly 400 acres around Everett Smith Island flooded to become an estuary for the threatened Chinook. For 85 years, it had been diked off for farming. Now it's a critical habitat where baby salmon can mature, giving them a better chance at survival when they head to the salt water. The salmon have are now uh, are, are given back the opportunity to, to um, fatten up and spend the first year of their life in the estuary. This project started when the Chinook were placed on the threatened species list way back in 1999. Since then, the Chinook's numbers have not improved. Habitat specialist Mike Rusté says the completion of the Smith Island project couldn't have come at a better time, with recent reports of malnourished orcas in northwest waters. This habitat will continue to evolve over time, will continue to get more and more salmon, and hopefully that will translate into more orcas. For Eric Stockdale, who's worked on this project for 15 long years, it gives him hope that what we're doing is making a difference. The future is uncertain, but we're doing everything we can. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.